This is the first time it's moved with it in place. We decided that we wanted to head down and see the final shuttle launch. And taking a look at Jumbo's car, we realized that there's an uncanny resemblance between a Nissan Xterra and the actual space shuttle. So the next step on our plan was to turn this into a replica space shuttle. And uh, after that, I had the idea, if we're going to do something like that, we should uh, maybe do it for a good cause. The Wounded Warrior Project is, a, is an amazing organization that provides support and, for, for those who serve and are injured uh, serving the country. Bob came up with the Wounded Warrior Project. It's something he's mentioned to me before. I do know that he's had family members who've served our country. Uh, I have as well. My dad is a Vietnam veteran. He served with the 173rd Airborne Brigade. We're going to have these buckets modified to look like the rocket engines, complete with replica flames coming out the back. It's just a small way that we can help and give back because in some ways NASA and the space program is one of the things that that's sort of makes this country great. And another thing that makes this country great is the sacrifice that um, people are willing to make to protect the country. None of us are uh, experienced in the trades, so we're kind of making this up as we go along. We all remember growing up in the 80s and watching the space shuttle, and at some point I think each of us wanted to be an astronaut. I'd still love to be an astronaut, so that never changes. That excitement is always going to be there for me for the rest of my life. I know a few folks have been out to the Grand Canyon and they say, you know, however much you prepare for it, you're still going to be in awe when you see it. I have an, uh, I have an inkling that I'll have a very similar experience.